Here's where I'm at. Sunday Creek. Sunday Creek. Nice Branch. One Lane Road. Let's check that out. Hey everyone, this is Matt from Rubicon Matt Overland. This trip was, you know, an overnighter, but I wanted to share more where I, where I actually am going. So I'm showing you the road signs and everything because I'm getting a lot of requests, which I love, and discussion about, you know, where are some roads that people can go in Ohio and experience some overlanding, whether it's light or more intense, safe off-roading, 4 by 4 -ing. I prefer overlanding myself. But anyways, I just wanted to, you know, take this time. And I went camping. I spent a night down at Borough Cove, and I'll show you real quick some pictures. But primarily, it's, it's about some roads and places that I go overlanding when I'm in Wayne National Forest so that you guys, as you guys, you know, go out and start overlanding yourselves and taking some trips, you can kind of see some places and feel confident and, and good about where you're going as well. So that's it. If you go to Wildcat Hollow Trailhead and put that as your GPS and then drive past it, this is where you're going to end up across that bridge that you saw me come across and then the, that split in the road where I, I took this road which had that washout and then you just continue down this road and this is where you just go back in there in the woods and just start looking at and turning down various roads and just track it with your GPS or your Gaia GPS, that's what I use so that when you're wanting to get back out to a main road, you know exactly where you are. Plus there's no cell connection in most of these areas that I'm going. So I use the Gaia GPS to help me navigate and know and record places I've been and also um, navigate my way out if a case of road dead ends or something. by now you can see my intentions are to get you guys out so you can go out and see these roads yourself because it is a blast and really get to see some very neat things. Sometime I'll head up this road. I believe it dead ends according to Gaia.
After overlanding, I went to campground number 10 of Burr Oak Cove Campground, which is a primitive campsite. There is water there and a bathroom, um, but this was a great site. It ended up being very secluded. I was by myself. There wasn't anybody beside me or behind me or in front of me. So I had a really good evening. Just wanted to show you this and uh, what a good site this is. So if you ever guys are out overlanding want to find a place to camp, you can check this out. having some mountain house chicken fried rice as I got to my campsite all set up was so excited of getting my coffee grinder and my jackery that I f forgot to bring my press so I had to make cowboy coffee where you just pour hot water and dump coffee in it and boil it then you're as I'm doing there I'm pouring some cool water over it and the grounds are supposed to fall to the bottom everybody's telling me that all the videos I watch so I did that and we'll see what happens well, I poured some more cool water in there and tried to drink it poured it in my cups and it was took a sip thinking, man, it might be good. It might be good. And then, um, it was just full of grounds. I just, you know, drank a bunch of grounds in, in my coffee. So if anybody in the uh, comments below can share what I did wrong. I think the learning I have is that my water wasn't cold enough. It was like 80 degrees out. So all my water was 80 degrees. I didn't have any really cool water. So, Hey, I appreciate any comments on, you know, how do you really make cowboy coffee? What, what did I do wrong here? Thanks. So I made my sausage and eggs and made some instant coffee and enjoyed the rest of the day.